Hello everybody, this is Brandon Stinson and I'm here to show you another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to make acne disappear in Photoshop. Acne is a major issue in pictures. I know I had acne. It's the worst thing to have. It can cause terrible redness. So let's just show you the best way to remove it in Photoshop so your picture can look great in A1, you know? Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you the before and after. So that's after the process. That's before. So if you like what you just saw, then keep following along with me. So the first thing we're going to do, like always, is we're going to make a duplicate image of the original. So Command J, Control J, either whichever one you're using, Mac or Windows. Um, so then we are going to make a hue or saturation layer over the top of the new layer. Um, make sure when you go here, the, the, what we're trying to do is we're taking away the reds from the acne. Um, reds, we're going to blend it with the with the with the actual skin tone. So we're going to target all the reds. And now we are going to change the hue so it matches more of the skin tone. So we're going to take the hue over to the right. We're going to bring the lightness up. And it is going to make the subject look a little bit paler and whiter, but we can always add the red back later. So don't worry about that. I'll show you how to get that done. All right, so it's already looking a little bit better in terms of the red redness in the face. Bring up the saturation just a little bit. All right, so that's looking okay. So I'll just show you what we just did. Basically, just took away the redness from the image. Um, we're gonna want to add back some of the lips, the redness in the lips. So basically, we're just gonna press on the mask, on the mask, and then we're gonna paint the lips back black. That's gonna add back your red to the lips. So let's get that done so they shouldn't look like a zombie. You know, that's not a, that's not a good thing unless you're into that type of thing. All right. So that's all good. Um, now, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use the the um, healing brush tool. And we are going to fix all the, the imperfections. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer. And we're not using the um, healing brush tool. We're using the spot the spot healing brush actually um, and we're gonna make sure it's on content aware and sample all layers so that we can actually have a new layer of it so we're not actually editing the actual picture so we're gonna have a new layer up with the with the spot healing brush tool and we're gonna make sure it's on content aware and then you're basically just gonna scrub in the the on the um, acne spots um, you're gonna want to make sure that the tool brush the the brush is like the same size roughly as the acne spots that you're going around so it makes the picture look a little bit better so we're just going to keep doing that until all the spots are in and then after we do it one time we're going to go back and do it again to just take off the blotchy spots um, that you see in the picture still and then I'll show you guys how to add the red back so she don't look like a zombie or a vampire from Vampire Diaries or something alright so it's already looking a lot better pretty simple the content aware tool is lovely basically what the content aware tool does is it basically scans the outside of the the um, sampled image that you're doing and it basically just tries to match it to what what the what Photoshop analyzes it to see as it's around it so it's a pretty good tool it's pretty high tech I would say can imagine trying to do it without the content aware tool all right, so it's looking a little bit better. Um, not, I didn't make it perfect or anything, but now we're just gonna see, look for any blotchy spots. Basically, try to cover those up. But it's looking pretty good, honestly. That's a little blotchy right there. A little blotchiness. Mm, everything else looks pretty good. All right. So now we're going to want to add back the redness. That's basically what we just did. We just took off all the acne. Um, to add back the redness, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer. Um, put that on the top. And for this for this girl, she's pretty pale, so we're going to make it a hard light. And make sure it's on red. So you're going to want the like a real bright red. And we're going to take down the opacity to about 30 right now to see what happens. And then basically we'll make sure it's on a soft brush hardness not too high and we are going to 
Oh, it's still on the it's still on the um, it's on the healing brush still. So I'll go to the the actual paint brush, make it a little bit bigger. Hardness I have it on zero now, but I'll put it to like two. And now we are going to paint back the red inner face. It's a little bit too red, but I'll fix that in a second. Just make it look like she has her tones. And we're going to drop that down. So it's more like 12 or 9. Oh, not my calendar. You can't see all my things I'm doing. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't do nothing. I go to work. All right. So now it's looking a lot better. Looking like an actual person, not a zombie. And for the most part, I mean, it's looking a lot better. Um, you don't have to put as much red as I did. I'm going to actually tone it down a little bit just to make it look more realistic. And there you go. Now you actually have someone without the agony, without the redness, and she's looking pretty good. So just to show you guys, I'm going to group this. Whoops, I missed one. Group that. And then, oh, don't group that. I messed it all up. All right, so that's the before and that. I mean, that's the before and that's the after. So the person looks normal, has all their color back in their face, and there's no acne. So um, if you guys liked my tutorial, please like my video below because that helps out tremendously. Leave comments, ask me any questions. If you want me to do a video about something, just send me an email or make a comment. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter, guys. Brandon J. Stinson. It will be at the bottom of the video throughout the duration of this video. So have a great day. And thank you very much for watching.